Hello and welcome to MicroStrata World. I hope that you all are enjoying the event as much as we are. Today, I'm going to be talking about hyperintelligence and how to embed hyperintelligence in your enterprise applications. My name is Jose Noceral, and I'm the Senior Vice President of Product Management here at MicroStrategy. I lead the client teams working on tools such as hyperintelligence, uh, or library application, and our mobile offering. With me, I also have Antoine Isali. Hi, everyone. I'm Antoine Isali. I'm the worldwide solution architect looking after our customers who are also in the business of building software. Uh, so I'll be working with Hosted to uh, giving you a full tour of what you can do with the Hyper SDK. Back to you. Thanks, Antoine. Today, I want to take you back two years ago. Two years ago, we invented a new product called Hyper Intelligence. We realized that a lot of enterprises make decisions every single second. Decisions are made every day, every hour, every minute, but for the most part, every second. And this decision actually drives what's going to be the performance of your business. These decisions are made using common tools, tools such as the Microsoft Office Suite, Salesforce, Workday. Think about any CRM system, and obviously, traditional analytics dashboards. There are three fundamental challenges that we saw about people making decisions. One is that we just don't have the time. People need to make really quick decisions. And again, these decisions are going to be affecting their businesses. But we just don't have the time to sit down, reflect, analyze the problem, and then make that decision. In addition to that, there's also a lack of a skill. Not everyone has the skills to analyze or use analytics. That represents a big challenge in today's world. And last but not least, well, some people, they don't actually like to use analytics products. They think of them as complex products. They like to make decisions in a much better and faster way. Hyperintelligence solves this problem by being able to leverage all the information that you have in your business on top of your most used applications. Again, applications such as Salesforce, Workday, Slack, or any other tool. Before we get started on what's new and dive into the embeddability capabilities, the Hyper SDK, I would like to walk you through the Hyper Intelligence product suite. Let's start with the card. Hyper Intelligence is all about injecting the most critical information into your applications out there or that you're familiar with. And this is done in the form of cards. You can build cards for every single node in your organization that is important to you. We want to bring focus to the things that matter the most. It is built around a very familiar object like business cards that contain its information that are most critical. The workstation allows you to build all these cards for every single client in the hyperintelligence family. Workstation allows you to build cards with a simple drag and drop interface. And in terms of minutes, you can be consuming your cards on all the different. The first client that we have is a hyper web extension. Our hyper web extension is available on both Chrome and Edge. And with that, you can build the examples that you, I showed you a few minutes ago. A very similar experience is going to be leveraged using the Hyper SDK. Our second client is HyperOffice. HyperOffice consists of an adding for Outlook that can be used across the desktop applications for Windows and Mac, and also for Outlook Online on your browser. Again, as with, other, with the other Hyper clients, it leverages the cars built with Workstation. Our third product is a Hyper mobile application that relies on the mobile capabilities and leverage all the offline access that you have grown used to on both Android and iOS. On mobile, a really cool thing is that you can search for your whole business in the Hyper Intelligence app. And then let's deep dive into what this session is about. Hyper SDK. With Hyper SDK, we're focusing on two main use cases, and we're going to be talking about them. Today, we're really happy to announce the release of Hyper SDK. With Hyper SDK, we aim two main use cases. One, how to enjoy hyper intelligence functionality in scenarios where you cannot deploy browser extensions. And second, how to create a hyper web extension that matches your brand. In the first use case, it's really easy to embed a really short core snippet that would allow you to have the same functionality that you could have with Hyper Web Extension, again, in scenarios where you are not allowed or you cannot do that. 
you can leverage the same beautiful cards that you have built using Workstation. The second use case is on how to rebrand the Hyper Web extension that you can host either on an official store or on premises. And this extension can match the look and feel and the branding that you have. And with that in mind, I'm going to be passing this to Antoine Isali to show you and bring this to reality. All right. Thanks, Jose. So the first thing that uh, I'm going to walk you through is how to use the Hyper SDK when it comes to taking the capability and injecting it into an application that you own. Then after that, we'll take a look at how to take the Hyper Intelligence extension concept and make it your own. All right, here we go. So what you can see on the screen right now is absolutely not MicroStrategy. This is an application that for the purpose of this story, we're gonna say that I have built. So this is an HR application. Actually, it's an HR suite with an HR module, a project management module, and a lot of different modules that just help companies run their business. So on the screen, there is no micro strategy. The UI can be something that is built, you know, in HTML, React, Angular, any kind of web framework that you might have built your application on. So I use it to manage my employees and I use it to manage um, my time off, meaning that my employees can submit their time off request and I'm going to use this platform as a manager to accept or reject those time off requests. So let's take a look at what the workflow looks today. So today, if I have a time off that comes to uh, my dashboard right here, I can definitely you know, see that Dustin is requesting something uh, for next week. And um, if I really want to know if I can or cannot accept this request, I'll have to jump to the project management application to check you know, what project Dustin is working on. Within this project, I can check you know, what kind of milestones they're actually running into and see if Dustin if or is not involved in uh, those workflows. So I think we can all agree it's uh, a lot of clicks and not as straightforward as it could be. So now, if I want to change this workflow, I will have to choose what space uh, what real estate on my screen I want to dedicate to analytics. I would need to uh, modify the workflow. I would need to potentially alter a lot of my original code. So that would take me really a bunch of time. Now, when we look at how market strategy can help, we can already take a look at um, how market strategy behind the scene will abstract the complexity of going against multiple data sources. So I had in my architecture, different data sources for my HR module and for my project management module, what we will not look at into the video right now, but I'm sure you've seen in other sessions, if you're familiar with the MicroStrategy platform, is that MicroStrategy will abstract the complexity of querying multiple data sources. So it will make this process completely seamless and we're going to actually pick up the workflow right after MicroStrategy gathered this information into what we call an intelligent cube. So once I have my data set ready, I'm going to be able to design what we call a hypercard just using a drag and drop UI. So there's no coding at this point. It's just dragging and dropping information on the screen, choosing from a couple of different templates, color schemes that will allow me to create a card that will fit my branding, that will fit my UX, my UI, that will look like it was built natively for my application. So one of the elements that I'm going to be spend, uh, spending time focusing on is actually all the linking capabilities that are part of the card because they're not here to just be a display of information. They're actual entry points into any core workflow of my application that I might want. Maybe through this card, I want to be able to take my user through directly within the uh, time entry approval process. Maybe I want to take them somewhere else. Maybe I have some, you know, APIs available within my original software that I want to uh, expose right here. 
So I'm going to be using those links to bring them in context wherever I want to take them. Now, when you build your card, please don't do like me and actually use the search capability. So instead of putting maybe two minutes into designing this card, you'll be able to do it in 30 seconds. So dragging and dropping a couple of elements will uh, you know, build my card, build some uh, text information, build some visual information. So I can actually merge information coming from my HR infrastructure, but also my project management infrastructure. So I will have a bite size snippet of what the information should be on my screen when I'm about to make an HR decision. Like for example, accept or reject a time entry. So, so far I added all the information about my HR module. And right now in the very same screen, I'm about to blend information coming from my project management module. And hopefully by the end, I'll have enough information to make an informed decision and decide what I want to do with my workflow. All right, now time to inject this hyper intelligence capability into my existing software. Here, it's pretty simple actually. We're talking about injecting about 20 lines of code into your existing application and you don't even have to design those lines of codes. MicroStrategy just hand it to you. So, you have, um, you have the capability to build it from scratch, of course, and actually we're gonna offer on our GitHub an interactive uh, tutorial that help you to step-by-step -step end up by generating your own snippet of code. So you can customize, for example, the way you're gonna authenticate so your end users never ever see an authentication screen and have everything taken care of seamlessly in the background. You can decide what cards you want to display on the screen. All of that is um, can be customized directly at the code level. But for now, we're going to make it really simple and bring everything we want with those 20 lines of codes. Once you have this uh, code snippet, it's going to be your responsibility to decide how you want to inject it within your application. You can decide to do it, you know, uh, page by page, wherever you want the hyperintelligence capability to be implemented, or like me, create a plugin that will take care of taking this code snippet and inject it everywhere inside my application. I actually recommend it, that because the beauty in the hyperintelligence is actually that you don't even have to think about where those analytics information will be useful your users will probably find some workflows that you even haven't you know, thought about, and they're gonna get value from having the hyper-intelligence just showing the right information at the right time in places that you didn't even thought about putting in analytics. So that's gonna be your call. Once this um, capability is implemented into my application, we're gonna take a look at what our workflow looks like. So remember, before hyper-intelligence, my workflow was about, let's say, one minute 30, maybe two minutes before I found the information I needed to make my decision. Now I have all the names of my employees that are uh, unfazed with whatever color I choose. And I have this card that just show up whenever someone hover over the, the name. So I can have my information in half a second. I just have to take a look at, um, what's on the screen, put my mouse over it and get the information I need to make my decision. Am I gonna approve? Am I gonna reject this time entry? Well, unfortunately for Dustin, he is required to be part of this milestone next week. So we really need to have him. And by the way, what I was suggesting before, you know, injecting uh, the capability, not necessarily at a page level, but finding a way to inject it um, over your entire software. The added value of doing that is that those cards are going to show up everywhere. Everywhere you have those keywords, the ones that you chose, the one that matters for your users will be enabled, will be hyper enabled and have those hyper cards just showing up everywhere where needed. So the value you got uh, from doing that is that there is absolutely no extension you know, requirement in this capability. Everyone coming into your application, everyone coming into your website, your portal will have those cards just showing up and helping them making better decisions. 
And one of the core value of this um, way to inject in hyperintelligence is that it's extremely fast. You can actually spin up uh, your own microstrategy environment and do your first hyperintelligence injection in less than a day. Now, let's take a look at the second way that you can use the Hyper SDK. Now, I'm going to be another kind of company. I'm going to see value in having a web browser extension. The value can be, for example, being really uh, interested in putting my own brand on top of my competitor's software, for example. I want to bring my data, my insights outside of my own UI. So my end users end up getting my brand and my information wherever they are working on their everyday tasks. So for this example, I'm a company that um, is focusing on the procurement departments. I uh, used um, Better Procurement as uh, the name of the company. So the goal of this uh, company that I created for the demo is to help procurement department to make um, ethical decisions. Like, for example, helping them choose from a list of supplier to uh, um, get some insights about which one are women-owned businesses. And uh, we're going to see how having a hyper-intelligence extensions completely white labeled to my own company colors will help my customers. So in this example, I took the hyper extension and used the SDK to completely white label it. You won't see any microstrategy appearing anywhere. It's my colors, my company, my corporate branding, and I can push that to my customers so they'll have the hyper intelligence experience wherever they are not, not only when they are browsing through my UI. So in this example, I'm looking, I'm part of a purchasing department. I'm a client of Better Procurement. And I am actually looking at getting an attorney, at contracting an attorney that will help me with some, um, um, with some IP laws, uh, intellectual property laws that uh, my company is going through. So I'm just going to go through a very first Google search, trying to find uh, one local attorney that will be able to uh, help me in that process. And just at the very first step, I'll see that from this big amount of information that Google gave me back, I'll have my card just show up at the right time and give me some insights about which of those businesses are actually women-owned businesses so as a procurement department, as a purchasing department, I'll be able to make more ethical decisions that are more in line with my company values. Obviously, this is only an example. I invite you to think about how you can empower your customers, your end users to take advantage of your own platform, your own insights outside of your UI. So, now might be the time uh, right before we jump to a session of questions to uh, talk about uh, what your next step is going to be. I really urge you to head to the MicroStrategy website. And uh, if you don't have a MicroStrategy environment, enroll into the HyperNow, um, um, the HyperNow platform. So you can spin up a MicroStrategy environment and try out this hyperintelligence capability right now. In just about a couple of minutes, you'll have everything needed to do it on your own and inject the hyperintelligence capability into your own application. Thanks very much.